Welcome back, Geordie lad. And today, we're going to do just a new video. So, let's get straight into it. So, in this video, there's going to be our week picture first. Then our, then our actual picture for the first day. Then, the, then, then we're going to have a mixture of other stuff. Transfer news. Uh, the kit. I'll, I'll, and, and some other bits and bobs. So anyways, let's start off with our leak picture. So yesterday, or the day before, there was a leak that came out saying that our first game was going to be Tottenham Hotspur away. I'll, if I can, I'll go and, I'll pop the picture up, I'll pop the picture up here. If not... Go to the community after this video and you'll be able to see. Yeah, so I wasn't very... I, I was... I didn't want it to be first, to be honest. Yes, I had a bad season, but... The, it's just... It's, you, don't want, you don't want a top six team, no. To be honest, this picture's not a little threat, to be honest. Aston Villa at home. I'm happy or I'm not happy. You'll see my reaction to the forest. When we got Forest last season, and I was very happy with that. This one, I'm not really that happy to be honest. Villa, we last season we beat them four 0 at home, but that was under Steven Gerrard. I hope it was. It wasn't under you and I. Am. It was either under Steven Gerrard or the interim manager. We beat them four 0 Then at their place, they beat us three 0 so, that's not really the team I wanted, but at least it's better than one of the top, a uh, super six, the top six. But that, that got broken up last season. Haha, <laughs> we're Chelsea first. But more Spurs than Chelsea. So, yeah, so, I guess we're going to have to take Villa. Villa, just what can we do, basically? Anyways, so. The new kit got released Friday, I want to say. So, I'll quickly go and... I got the shirt on Saturday. I'll quickly go and get it. Give me two seconds. So, I'm going to have to stand up as I kind of fit, fit in the picture. But as you can see, it's this. And it's absolutely beautiful, I think. I didn't get a name on the back, Seaman. I didn't have enough money to get a name on the back. But it's beautiful. I love how I can actually get the sponsor now, Seaman. I'm a kid. I couldn't get Fun 88. But, it, but there is some more new about the new about Fun 88, so stay, stay tuned. So it's, it's good. It's But one problem. So, I don't know if I'll be able to get it in. One second. I don't know if it's focusing or not. But, I don't know. I don't even know if you can read that properly. I don't know if it's the wrong way around for you. But, it says, Newcastle United. United. Not United. United. It is, it is meant to be an I. But instead, it's spelt United, spelt U N T T E D. So, Castor or Castorway, whatever, however you call it, have made a mess of the shirt, basically. And surely, now, af, af, surely when they were making it, they should have recognised that United was spelt one. Someone. Castorway or Castor, whatever you want to call it, must have recognised that United is spelled wrong. If not, I am concerned. Right. Anyways, let's move on to some transfer news. So, yesterday. A load of articles come out saying 
that we are close to signing international slash Inter Milan centre midfielder Nicola Bolera. And apparently, according to one article, we have came in with a 50 million bid. 5 0. No, no, no joke. So, so I really want Barrera because I think if we get Barrera, you get Madison, maybe get Diaby because he's just been under the water. He's gone. I had no news about him for a while, but you never know. It could, it could still be there. It could just be in the background of everything. Get Diaby. Maybe get one or two backup centre backs. Then I think we're ready to go for next season. But concentrating on Barrera, I really like the player to be honest. I think he's a top top lad. He's he played in the Euros final when Italy beat England us. He played in the Champions League final that where Inter uh, lost one 0 to City. I watched that game and God he was good. Um, if I can, down below, I'll leave the link to to the Sky Sports's um, thing on Nicola Barrera with us. And then I'll also leave the link to the Champions League final. A link to the Champions League final um, highlights, if I remember that is. But if, if you... But if it... Go, go down and check after this video... And see if um go and watch it if it's there and I'll and there'll be the Champions League final highlights and you'll be able to see how good Barrera is. Cause he was the entitled part of Inter getting there. Any anyways is there's been a load of links recently. A load. I can't get through all of them. But I'll get through a couple of them. So. I hope I'm saying this right. This being a went to Mohamed Skinner now. I don't know if this is true or not. But there's a link to the centre midfielder. I mean not centre midfielder. No. Central defender. I've signed him on. Career more than FIFA before. He's young. He, on FIFA, he's good. Well, he was good for me. And he played for RB Leipzig, I think. And I think he's a really, really good player. I, If he's available, I would definitely get him. Just for backup. You can sit and learn from Cher. And then if we go on, do go on and sell someone like Cher in the future... He's always there to take his place. But he'll also be good for rotation. Team we've got 46 games guaranteed to play next season. 38 in the league, 6 in the Champions League, 2, two Cups games. Guaranteed. Hopefully more. M what? <laughs> more. Hopefully that more. So we're going to need rotation. So our bench is going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. Anyways... I'm going to move on to some stuff that is, we want something that's not quite present. So if you want to skip forward, I'll leave the time, time, time link in the description of me finishing with this topic. But, I'm not going to go on, go on for ages because some, some viewers might find this distressing. But Jorlin In has came out a couple of days ago now, saying he has been, he was racially abused by, he was racially abused in the whole match against Arsenal when, where he lost 2-0. He was racially abused, I don't know by who, but he came out and said that. And it's, it's just horrible to see, to be honest. It's, it's, there's no room for it anywhere, not just in football, anywhere. I don't, I just don't get it to be honest. I don't get why, why it happens. 
<sighs> but there's been a couple of incidents over the past couple of weeks. Like Vinicius Junior got away to abuse. I think it was in, in Real Madrid game against Valencia. So there's no room for it in football. I know for all these things they kick it out, all that, but there's no room for it. There needs to be some kind of punishment because the punishments that are happening are just not good enough. From what some people are saying, there should we be going to prison. And I agree. Anyways, I don't want to really talk about it that long, so we're just going to move on. Well, welcome back everyone who skipped that part. So. Next. What else is there to talk about? What? Yeah, I can remember what I was going to say. So, we've got a friendly organised with Gateshead at their stadium. I'm hoping, I'm hoping I can go. And if I can, I'll do a match vlog there. And actually, I'm going to get onto some match vlogs in, in a second. So, we'll organise the game with Gateshead. I can't remember the date for when it is, but I'm gonna hope if I can hope I can get my dad to get to get some tickets and we can go. If I am, I'll document my experience on the channel. But it's not confirmed, but I'll confirm it with you guys once we're done. Anyways. Um Yes. So Finally, so I've got a feeling that these previews are actually, yes, they're doing well on my channel, and they are one of my highest videos behind news videos, but I think you guys would actually like a match day vlog of me going there. I maybe can get the prediction that other YouTubers can, but I can definitely like go to the matches and, and do like how I did it. Remember, I do like a couple of pictures. But also, it's like, me filming. I can do that. So, how many likes? If we can get a minimum of three likes on this video, I will go and I'll do match day vlogs this season. I won't do them all. I'll do quite a few, though. I'll make... Because I don't go to the way games. I, I, but I watch I watch yours on dodgy streams that I kind of give away, but I can doc I can I can take you some use to some matches if you want, and if you want, I, if we get three likes, I'll do it with the Villa match definitely, and then I'll I might do like once or twice a month, and maybe I might just put my community tab every month. What game do you want? me to go and see and you i might just do one but well i'll go and see a, a, every one of them but like, what game do you guys want to see and whichever one gets the highest will obviously be will, will be going to going to go and see anyways that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and turn on those those notifications so you guys will know every time I upload a video. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I'm not going to go into that. It's just all the things going on behind the scenes that you guys will need to know about. Anyways, I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Bye.